Indeed, greetings unto you, beloved and holy friends. Thank you so much for joining me again on another video. I always appreciate your presence. If you enjoy what it is we're doing here, consider liking the video. Actually, do whatever it is you want to do, my friend. You are a divine being of your own. Let's melt more into being. Damn, I've poured myself a beer today. Not something we've, we've done on stream before, really. So, yeah. Stay 144. <sighs> some some personal connections I have with that that number. Something I've been seeing a lot before today's stream as well. Today's dancing went really well. I streamed again after my first phone died. Then after the second phone died, I went and I streamed again on my main PC. We played <laughs> super liminal today. And hot damn that game messed me up a little bit like this this morning i came from a a state of of like ultra feeling if you will had a little bit of a cry sesh this morning as well and yeah i just i couldn't switch off so yeah <laughs> we've been streaming we've streamed for about four and a half hours before this stream today already what a vibe <laughs> <laughs> what about my friends? We're spending time together more and more so I do want to set an intention for what it is I'm rolling today But before I do I want to say something that is worth saying if you will Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so I have I have read this one before and it's it's no surprise to me that it comes up again especially on this day and this, this thing worth saying just basically goes, Commitment is nothing more than the deliberate decision that something will be so. Yo. Every single time I read that, Merman! The Merman himself. Thank you for being here with me, Merman. Man, it's nice to have you, dude. How do you feel about this thing worth saying, dude? Commitment is nothing more than a deliberate decision that something will be so. You see, because we, or at least I've made a commitment to you friends with these streams, doing this every day. We've not missed a day in 144 days, friends. Not a single day. We showed up, came here, and you know, that is my intention for today. It's commitment. Commitment has served me so well in my life. Nice and meow. Nice and kitty cat. Ah, commitment, friends. Commitment. Hey, meow. Yes, the police say kitty cat. Nice and kitty cat. Please say. Oh, meow. I'll stay me some. <laughs> Happy Monday to you as well, Aaron. Thank you for joining us, my friend. I appreciate you being here. Is that a mushroom on your necklace? Yeah, it is a mushroom on my necklace. But inside of the mushroom, there is a, a little pocket dragon. A little fire starter. A little flame maker, if you will. Uh, we have Edmund. We have Toasty here as well. So nice to have you dudes here. Uh, he says, hello brother, commitment is a fantastic intention. Man, it, I think, like, it's this intention. I was like asking myself what the intention is gonna be. I opened up to something worth saying. And one of the most important pieces in this entire little booklet of important things I've written down for myself. Commitment is the deliberate decision that something will be so. And I've made a commitment to make this world a better place. Hot damn. I've made a commitment. <laughs> it's gonna be so. It has to be. I won't give up until it is. <laughs> Toasty says good morning, friend. Hope you're doing well. I am doing well, Toasty. I'm doing really well, my friend. I feel like I'm I'm consolidating, if that makes any sense. I I had a healing session this morning, hot damn. Like after the dancing, we just kinda sat down with the sun. I started talking and some stuff came out again. Had a good cry, just got some of that, you know, pent up emotional blockages out of the way again. Meow, <laughs> the meow. Uh, hey to you, truly yours. Thank you for being here with us, my friend. I am committed with you, my friend, 100%. Like, this is not something I'm going to do alone. But I do believe 
the fact that I have committed, you know, to, to realize that that is a goal, the betterment of the whole, it will inspire others to, to take up that same, you know, flag, if you will. We can carry it up the mountain together. Together we are strongest, my friends. We're smoking some orange sherbet today. This strain, I feel, is especially heady for me personally, to the point where it, like, kind of makes me... What's the word I'm looking for? Makes me space out. I think that's the right word, right? Just makes me space out a little bit. So if I space out... <laughs> am I going to try and make excuses for me spacing out? I space out all the time. <laughs> you know what? No, no, I'm not going to I'm not gonna excuse for spacing out. If we space out, we space out together, friends. We can just melt into that situation as well. New, 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 new. New, 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 new. Okay, let's crush this little bit I have loaded. <laughs> hey, friends, good morning. Good morning to you, Jovan. Thank you for being here with us, my friend. Man, Jovan sent me a picture of a beautiful nug. What was that nug, actually? It's kind of out of nowhere. I'm curious. Uh, sheep army. Are you a sheep investor, my friend? I think I also have a few sheep. It's worth, like, a little bit. <laughs> Just a wee bit. Um, did you buy sheep, mate? Yes. Yes, I did. I guess. Javan, Javan is here, isn't she lovely? I'm so happy to have you here, my friend. Javan was there for this morning stream. I was just telling our friends about a little bit of what we've been through this morning. And like the rest of the day was almost like a, a consolidation of that, you know, those feelings that I was feeling. It was basically just this feeling of like I'm not doing enough, you know, as we always, at least I believe, as we sometimes feel. I can't say always for any one of you. You know, felt like I wasn't doing enough, felt like things aren't bettering enough, you know, na 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 Patience. I'll be patient, and I'll be not only patient, but I'll also be trusting of this commitment that I've made. Again, today's intention is commitment. A commitment is a deliberate decision. This is a little bit big to fit in there, so I'm going to break it in half. A commitment is a deliberate decision that something will be so. It will be. We will make this world a better place. Yes, we will. <laughs> yes, we will. Oh, no, no, no. Any shibuniers Shibo, in this joint? I don't... It's hard to say that, dude. You have to get a better one. Shabillion. Shabillionaire is better, dude, because... Oh, you you, you wrote Shabillionaire. My, my bad. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I feel you, man. We're man and Toasty and Edwin and Aaron and Franz. It was called Sunday Driver, and it was a brain party. It was called Sunday Driver, and it was a brain party. Are you talking about this morning? Hey, it's Justin. It's so nice to see you again, Justin. It's been a while, my friend. How have you been? How's the kids been? How's the practice been? Uh, I'm a quarter of a billion sheep huddle. <laughs> when did you buy, my friend? When did you buy? Apparently they... Well, uh, I don't really care about money too much. I salute you, my dog. There we go. We have sheep army people invading the chat, friends. <laughs> Hide your kids. Hide your wife. You're going to try and sell them for sheep. <laughs> Appreciate it. Appreciate you as well, my friend. Sounds like resistance. Push through the resistance. You will prevail. Ah, uh, 100%. I'm not, I'm not worried, my friend. I'm not worried. Like this morning, we were talking about, you know, like it's actually something Jovan said. She was talking about people, people coming into stream, you know, being subjectively, she was just being spicy in a, like an expression way of like, like playing up a character that is like, you know, trying to to tell me what I'm supposed to be doing. And in her playing up that character, I, I felt such a real like sense of, I understand where that character's perspective is coming from as well. And I understand where I was at one point in my life and where I feel like I'm going right now in this point of my life. And yeah, it all just came spilling out. I had to talk about it. 
mistake him and <laughs> to smoking that entire nug. <laughs> I can't like I'll I'll smoke it eventually, I guess, but on stream sometimes I have a hard time. Justin, glad you're here, man. Same. The whole nug. <laughs> the whole thing. I have to go for it. The whole thing, dude. Like, a whole nug is usually about a joint. I try and, like, catch the nugs that are about as big as a joint. But I have, I think, a little bit more than I intended to bring. Maybe we'll just roll an absolute monster joint. Absolute log. Get shwiggity wasted on the marijuanas today. Mm, let's break the stigma and overgrow the planet. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, dude. <laughs> it was a rough weekend. I had to clean out my brother's apartment. Oh, of course, my friend. I'm so sorry to hear that, dude. Did you like at least get to do that with family and friends? Or was it something that you had to do alone, Justin? I also think that in doing something like that, did you, did you get to keep some of his belongings? I'm really curious. And if you did keep some of your belongings, would you mind sharing it with us? Or if you're not willing to, that's completely okay as well, my friend. Uh, I like flowers. Me too, friend. I'm a big fan of flowers. Like, even though I'm, you know, saying it kind of tongue-in-cheek tongue in, tongue in cheek about the, the fact that I'm rolling marijuanas, I am a big fan of actual flowers as well. Like, I, I'll, I'm a sucker for a rose. I'll stop and take a picture. <laughs> Man, that's rough, Justin. I'm sorry you had to do that. I, I don't think I don't think it's a bad thing that Justin had to do that. I think, in fact, it can like have a lot of beneficial feelings attached to it as well, because you're you're becoming, I think, in that type of situation, ultra aware of the the reality of the fact as well. You know, and Justin, like I can't even imagine losing a brother, dude. Having brothers myself, like that. That should be dev like, oof, man, I, I can't even fathom. I can't even start to, to fathom. I'm trying to think of, like, something important my brother has that I, I associate with him. But I don't think I, we have any things like that. Like, there's no one thing that I'm going to be like, I want to keep that because it's going to remind me of my brother, if that makes any sense. Um, thanks, Edmund. There we go. Sending you love. Absolutely. What are you smoking? What cultivar? I'm smoking some orange sherbet. Homegrown orange sherbet. Homegrown, uh, not greenhouse, netted. I think it's netted. It's called netted, right? Netted outdoor, dude. It's quite a vibe. It's nice growing your own plants for yourself as well. Can you show a flower up close? I don't have any more flowers, dude. <laughs> the flower I have is now in bits. It's in little bits. Little bits. So that I can put it in a joint. I already rolled myself at Bulgaric. I think I might have to make it a little bit bigger. I wasn't joking about the, the giga joint I'm going to roll. I'm going to try and roll an absurd sized joint. Mm, um... Dum, 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 dum. The strain was... Oh, Sunday driver. I'm not very seasoned on strains, though, Justin. I hope this was uh, what you wanted to experience in that moment. Yeah, I'm thinking that as well. I would love to hear more about it, Justin, if you're willing to share, my friend. Have a good day, everyone. Sending love. Thank you, Toasty. Good love to you as well, my friend. Good day and love to you as well. Uh, Sunday driver. I haven't had Sunday driver. Yes, my whole immediate family was there and we stayed all together we did have some things from him thank you for sharing justin love you toasty yes we do hey bro hey gustav man bricks it's been forever dude it's been forever and forever it's nice to see you again how have you been how's life been treating you where have you been taken by this absolutely amazing ocean of life just kind of takes us in the waves you know back and forth oh it's like the ice cream sundae not the sundae i still i yeah i, I like i understand what you're saying oh there we are oh, okay you are replying to someone's text for some reason i thought i was supposed to read it differently and i was like what <laughs> hey Trevor, thank you for being here with us. Hello friends. How is everyone this morning? I'm doing good, my friend. I'm doing good. I hope that our friends answer you as well. I'm sure we're doing good as well. We get to breathe. 
We get to be awake for this amazing experience that we're sharing with one another. We get to be awake for the experience we share with one another. Man, that was the overarching message of that super liminal game I played this morning. It's like, <laughs> you basically go through this world of having infinite perspective as a result of being in like this ultra dream state. And then you basically wake up as a process of, yes, this thing is going to be ridiculous. You wake up as a, as a process, you know, as you go through all of these, like this is maybe too much even. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being a little bit comical and ridiculous with what I'm doing right now. But now I've committed to it. So I have to go all the way, right? Okay, maybe I'll try and make it big at first. It's like the, the back. But for the... Okay, yeah, that's gonna, I think, do it. It doesn't, it doesn't close properly. It will. I will make it. It might be extremely ugly, but it will be a log. <laughs> yes. Yo, okay. Okay. Okay, dude. <laughs> oh, man, it's too big. What have I done? What have I gotten myself into? We're doing it. We're committing, friends. We're going all the way. We're going all the way. Um, nom nom. I miss some comments. Uh, I have one bean of that left. Bean? Nug? I'm not sure what you mean. I'm smoking something my boy gave me. Again, this card. Again, this card. That's actually kind of sick. Sick name for a strain. Not sure if it's going to be a world conqueror. But who knows? Maybe it does become one because of its name. I'm kind of intimidated by this joint I'm rolling right now. I don't think this is a good idea. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared, friends. Well, the output is such a vibe. I'm happy you appreciate it, friend. This was a gift from a friend. This is a gift from my mom. It's nice to, it's nice to wear gifts. Meltmore, what's up? How are you today? No personality. How are you, my friend? I'm doing well, dude. I'm, I'm just vibing. I'm just vibing. Life has been giving a lot as of late. As it does, you know, and I've just been, been here for it. Oh goodness, look at this! Oh, my. it's it's this is a little bit comical now. Like I'm, I feel like what I'm doing should be illegal or something. <laughs> uh, I met my girlfriend's family this weekend. Okay, good stuff. How was that, my friend? How long have you been together? And like, were you with the family the entire weekend? Was it like a situation where you kind of just went to their house? Did you go out and do stuff? Please tell me more. I'm really curious. Um, so some people call it Sunday Driver, but it's actually Sunday Driver. It was originally created by the Jungle Boys and TLC. Okay. Very good cultivar. How sick, dude. I didn't even know about that. You know your which strains, popular engineer. Hey, Melty, still streaming, but I love you. Love you as well, Harley. Thank you for tuning in for a little bit, my friend, even though you're streaming. I would do the same, but I don't have any more phones. If only I had three phones. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> uh, I watched a documentary that says all weed has been crossbred anyways, and that they make up names. Uh, that's basically what happens. We do make up names, but when you like cross, you know, a... For example, a sour diesel plant and a lemon haze plant, then you just get sour diesel or whatever, you know, like that's just how names work. It's not the same plant anymore because their phenotypes have been crossed. So you just kind of give it a new name. I think I might actually be able to use all of this weed I've crushed because of this log. This absolute like blunt force trauma inducing weapon that I'm rolling in here. <laughs> um Big doins in the arm and the AM. Oh yeah, like it's not my AM, but yes, it's your AM. I'm rolling the biggest of doinks right now. Too big of a doink, a comical sized doink. Yes, I don't think I'm gonna like smoke ten percent of this on the street. Uh, I'm dumb. You could do it. Oh no, dude, don't, don't, don't cheer me on, Yater. <laughs> I have enough. I have enough. Uh, what do you call it? Encouragement already from my my commitment being 
being what it is. Oh, I'm scared. Okay, now we're getting to the stuffing part. I want to, like, fit everything, like, the entire nug and the little extra small nug I brought with it into this joint. Just for the sake of, you know, completionism, if you will. Fucking oat. <laughs> nice, oh, thank you. Cool, oh, cool. Uh, you got it, even if it's ugly, uh, it will still serve its purpose. Yes, it will, my friend. That it will do. I don't think I've ever in my life rolled a joint this big, though. As I said, like, this is this is comical even for me. Like, I try to roll biggish joints. Like, I roll average, like, almost precisely one gram joints. I feel this is, like, edging onto two now. It's a little bit... <laughs> I'm like watching myself rolling this and I, I should be putting more positive intentions and good energy into this commitment joint but maybe it's like it's like a metaphor for me taking on big commitments and then being intimidated by them but even though I'm intimidated I'm still going to pursue it huh can we can we try and pull some sort of life lesson out of me rolling a joint I hope so I think we can pull life lessons out of everything. I've pulled a life lesson out of watching a snake eat a lizard. And yeah, I mean, if that doesn't say something. No, I know. Uh, seed of orange sherbet. <laughs> seed of orange sherbet. Big fucking doinks, dude. Uh, uh, a ridiculous sized doink. Like, I, I don't even think I can close it. And the problem is it's so big, it's not even like properly packed and stuff. You know what? I think I'm gonna be able to close it. I'm gonna stuff it a little bit, top, which might make it a little bit harder for me to smoke. But I want to close it now. Ooh. <laughs> it closed. It closed. This thing is ridiculous. No, what, what am I doing here? Look at this thing. Like, like my, next to my pinky. Next to my, my pointer finger. Oh, goodness. What do I have for scale? A pen for scale, I guess, would be a good one as well. It's like almost twice the circumference of a pen. Oh, jeez. I don't know about this, dude. <laughs> Let's take off the cap, as we do. Okay, I should actually be getting to reading some comments. I'm getting behind already, aren't I? Um, that's true, no personality. But by crossbreeding, they are creating new strains. Yeah, that need the names. Exactly, dude. Exactly as I said, Edmund. Hit that shit. I'm gonna hit a Juanos. Gonna burn off this little hat it's wearing. And then we're gonna light it up. Commitments, my friend. Commitments. To big commitments. Mm. It's gonna be a little bit of a, a party trick getting this thing lit properly, but Our commitment joint is a burning. That's what I needed to. That's what I meant by bean slash seed. Oh, the little bean. Okay, I understand, my friend. I want to make your necklace so cute. Please do. If you make them, if you do make them, like hit me up. Hit me up because they're not they're not difficult to make, but they are time consuming to make. And I'm looking for someone who wants to make them. Legitimately. Like, actually, as a thing. Not for this year, but maybe for next year. We can start planning. <coughs> woo -wee! Okay, if I'm smoking for commitment, I'm drinking for rest. Commitment and rest. Because that does... Uh, like, I definitely need the balance as well. Hmm commitment and rest my friends mm. 
Yeah, that goes well together. Um, dum -dum. Thank you for the wholesome, Justin. I appreciate you, my friend, as always. Don't be scared of that joint. We are here with you. Good company. What could go wrong? Ah, dude, I'm just playing it up. I'm not, I'm not scared of anything. I'm, maybe, I'm tim intimidated by me. <laughs> but intimidation doesn't equate to being scared of things, right? You're intimidated by a pretty girl. Doesn't mean you're scared of her. Right, not, not, not the same way that you're scared of a bear. <coughs> um, I just went to their house and smoked a bunch of homegrown. Oh, oh, that sounds super sick, dude. That sounds like the best uh, like meetup you can have of your girlfriend's family ever. My friend is super into wheat strains. I don't care that much. I just trust him to give me good sativas. Mm. Do you prefer the headiness of sativas, my friend? And have you tried any CBD strains as well? Whew. Like, this isn't a CBD strain, but I've been smoking on, I think, almost mostly CBD strains as of late. We have Lisa here as well. Good evening to you, my friend. Thank you for joining us. Had some dinner. Uh, then we went hiking. Man, dude. Dude, like, these, these... I mean, the like, it's one thing to have a girlfriend, but if the parents are like sick people to hang out with, you can smoke joints, you can go hiking together. How sick, dude. Your girlfriend must be of the same mindset as well then. Uh, big doinks and Amish. Yeah, dude, the big doinks and Amish. Rest in peace, dude. Honor to that dude. <clears throat> Much love to you, friend. Positive vibes your way. Hey, Luke, positive vibes to your way and your mom's way as well, my friend. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you for the silver, my friend. Uh, try in the bed and melt in the morning. Yeah, dude, melt in the morning. <sighs> it's nice that it's morning for you, friends. Because then I get to, like, almost like I feel in some way send you off. At least on some positive note, right? I try to keep it on a positive note. Sometimes we cry on the stream. Which is also okay. <sighs> but I, I want to, if anything, send you friends off on a positive note. Hopefully you can do the same thing for someone else and then we can perpetuate this positivity throughout the world. Cannabis shows you to yourself. Mm, I feel that. Dead. Cannabis shows you to yourself. You see, like there's such a big stigma with all drugs, you know, and I've been... What's his name? Something Hamilton. Robert Hamilton? I was listening to his Joe Rogan show today, you know, or his appearance on Joe Rogan. The chat Joe Rogan had with this Hamilton guy. Um, and he's basically this vice uh, psychonaut that just goes around the world, you know, trying different substances. And he has a very like, clear understanding of how these things work, uh, how they're manufactured, how they interact with your body, with your brain. And, like, the, the insights he has and the, the perspective he has has you know, just enlightened me to a lot of things again, you know. Especially this concept of, like, he said this one thing and that I'll say that is just so funny to me. He says the best thing you can say about drugs is nothing. <laughs> That's the best thing you can say about them. Not in a way that it's like stigmatized or that it's demonized. It's just that like there's nothing that you can say that is going to be a clear statement of how this thing works for everybody in the world. Because we all have different bodies. We all have different effects. Different dosages do different things. There's so much to it that you can't like effectively make like a single line statement that's going to apply to every single person. Which is crazy. That's interesting you say big doinks, um, because here in Kali, we roll up 8 THS. I don't know what THS means, dude. THS plus? 8 THS plus. I don't, I like, that doesn't mean anything to me. I'm sorry, friend. You could do it, friend. I like, uh, thank you. I, I believe you, but I don't know what you mean. <laughs> um... There you go, Mel. Everything is learning moment in life. Yeah, dude. I, I do believe that as well, Edmund. And that's, I feel, especially in this space, it almost happens automatically. Where I find myself, with your, the help of you friends, in like mental situations or in 
in a conversation or a thought pattern where I kind of have to come to the recognition of something, whatever it may be. And I, I like that. It's, it's such a fantastic process. And I'm so, so thankful to have you friends joining me here with that. Mm, do you think you can smoke all of that? Well, dude, what I think and what I can do, I mean, are two, two opposite sides of the spectrum. Technically, we can do anything. Do I want to smoke this this whole thing? You see, that's a, that's a better question. No, I don't think I don't think I want to necessarily. Like not right now. Like I'm not gonna puff it down. But maybe who, who knows? Maybe we smoke the whole thing. Oh no! <laughs> like I have, I just had this voice in the back of my head. It's like you made a commitment. I literally wrote commitment on the joint paper. Now, nah, ooh, are we gonna do this? This might be a very bad idea. But we're here for it, right? We make commitments. Stop talking, start smoking. Yeah, you're right. Do you hear what the sound this thing is making? Listen to this. making like a like a slushing sound like there's oil <coughs> being funneled <coughs> Ooh. <coughs> Ooh, I just took like six massive hits commitment and relaxation There has to be a place for both. Including a snake eating a lizard on top of dead volcano. Yeah, dude. On top of dead volcano. I didn't even mention that part. Like, <laughs> and like, you know, there's even more to it, dude. Life changing. Because like, just to, to share some more, that, you know, snake eating the lizard moment for me in that moment was such a clear realization because I knew that lizard was not having a good time. <laughs> You know, quite realistically, if he could, he would be shouting for help. And me, like, helping him, taking him out of this snake's mouth, would be me hurting the snake as well. And I kind of, like, I really came to this, like, understanding of what it means that everything is perfectly neutral. You know, I watched this event and I recognized what being neutral actually means. <sighs> and I don't think neutrality in everything is, uh, is perfect, you know. Especially not in like ideas that you believe or if you want to make real changes into the world, you want to have people recognize things <sighs> or understand things in a new light. <sighs> then you want to kind of draw, draw some absolutes, but it's not always a sure thing. <sighs> Uh, that's huge. Yeah, lucky hip hop. Woo wee! I still have like 45 minutes left. I think we can do it. Um, graves or graves save weed. I don't know what you mean, my friend, but this is definitely not an efficient use of weed, if that is what you're trying to say, which I do agree with. That's a fat one. Bananas are the traditional Reddit for a scale object. I know, and I do know that. But I don't have a banana handy, unfortunately. I think a pen also suffices as a good scale. Everyone knows what the size of a pen is. I shit my bag out. Oh, I can think, dude. <laughs> I can think. I do the same technique. You mean the taking off of the hat? Melt more, I'm hitting a ball right now, too. Thank you for joining me, no personality. I'll need all the strength you can send, friends, please. Oh, <coughs> send me strength. Uh, is it all green? Yeah. All of it's green, dude. Nice reload. Ah. Thank you, friend. Oh, thank you so much. I think it came out better than I anticipated it will. <sighs> I made a, a flash judgment when I, I initially started rolling it. And I even in that moment kind of realized that I was almost... You know, projecting 
something onto myself because it wasn't bad. It's like, ask myself, why do you say that, dude? No, <laughs> don't. <laughs> Stop. You sounded like Mickey Mouse from South Park when you said, oh, geez. <laughs> uh, I was like, uh, for me, it's like the, the Rick and Morty thing as well. Like Morty's voice. That OGs, I kind of think of it as like this situation where you know what it is you're getting yourself into or you you know how intense it's going to be, but you don't know the full extent of it. And you just say OGs. Like, especially, you know, imagine living as Morty, dude. Just having your grandpa just rip you out of this reality and take you somewhere strange. Dude, I would love it, of course. But it would be like an OGs moment every single time. Did you make your necklace, friend? No, I did not. It was a gift from a from a friend at a music festival. It was a very special moment. Oh, I just noticed that's a lighter necklace. Yes, it is, dude. Yes, it is. How much THC? Ah, uh, like guessing above twenty percent. I don't have a tester kit. The last stuff that I did have tested was twenty six percent, but. This is definitely not the same strain, and I didn't get as much, you know, uh, full bud development because I tried a new growing technique, which I, I learned from a lot. Mm, what you sipping on? I'm actually sipping on beer, dude. Actual beer. <laughs> it's called Black Label. I can show you what it looks like. I hope that photo doesn't end up on the internet somewhere. Me holding a black label like I'm proud of it. No. But I am having a beer. And it's nice. It's like the, the ultra contrast to the commitment and relaxation. You know? Yeah, man. I'm taking myself for a spin mentally today, it seems. <laughs> Um, thank you for the hugs, friend. Hey, dude. Hey, Turtle. Thank you for joining us, dude. How have you been? Uh, I have not tried CBD. Sativa always agreed with me. Indica gives me couch log vibes. Okay. Yeah, like sometimes it will. CBD is, is just, you know, another cannabinoid that's found in cannabis plants. Uh, thank you for the tree hug, Luke. I appreciate it. Uh, wave ordered for 50 pounds, 6 grams CBD. And there were no sweet buds. We've ordered for 50 pounds, 6 grams of CBD. There were no sweet buds. Like, I, I, I don't exactly understand what you mean. Do you, are you saying that you ordered these buds, but they weren't good? Even though you paid as much as you did for them? And that's a shame. I'm sorry if that happened. Girlfriend lives in Amish country. So we were, in fact, smoking big doinks in Amish. How sick, dude. Actually smoking big doinks in Amish. Uh, my friends. Hey, Lindsay. It's so nice to see you, friend. Man, it's been forever. It's nice to have you here. I like you, dude. I like you as well, Chertle. Thank you for joining us. Um, what do you do for a living? I'm unemployed, dude, at the moment. I'm unemployed. Let it be. But I've made a commitment to something I believe is bigger than any job can give me. So that's what I'm working towards. Not working, you know, in the traditional sense, if that makes any sense. <laughs> uh, yes, Mel, your streams are a great way to start the morning. Oh, thank you, dude. Hamilton's Pharmacopoeia. Spot on, dude. Thank you. Thank you. I'm really interested in what you do for a living. I'm unemployed for a living right now, friend. I've been a salesman. I've been an English teacher. I've been a, a former child. <laughs> and here we are. Uh, SA Rasta. I don't know about that, friend. Uh, this lighter is sweet. Soja Rastafari. <laughs> um, but 
what if you were put in the position to save the lizard? I was put in the position to save the lizard. 100%. I could have just taken the lizard out of the snake's mouth. No. No. Can't do that, dude. That's messing with the ecosystem and stuff. You see? <laughs> We're already doing it. We just have to stop. Can anyone read me? I can read you, Albatross. It's nice to have you here, my friend. I was standing outside, looking at a small green garden snake. A hawk came out of nowhere and snatched it up in one snoop. It was incredible. Life lesson. There is always an eagle waiting. Enjoy the day while you can. Is that the life lesson you took from it, my friend? Because there might be an eagle waiting. Could I come in and snatch you up? Nah, dude. I can't. I can't live that way. I can't live that way. Dude, you're high. Yeah, oh. I've, I've smoked like this this much of something that I am <sighs> not regretting at, and at all, but I am definitely experiencing my commitment right now. <laughs> oh shit, you are, the, <laughs> you are, that's chill. Yeah, thank you, my friend. Thank you for being here with us. Your accent, weird, bro. Oh, I blend it Africa. I brought it like Afrikaans, but I don't know English to brought. So I English brought. And I sound like this. <laughs> that's, how, that's how it works. <laughs> to you, friends. To the to the one percent of people that will ever see these streams or watch these streams, you know what I'm actually saying. There's only eleven million people in the entire world that speak Afrikaans. It's a pretty small language. Mm. You essentially witnessed and realized yin and yang. Within nature, true neutrality. Exactly, exactly, Edmund. Perfectly put, my friend. You are mellow, chill, dude, bro, guy. It sounds like a, a nice and molten together word, dude. Yes, I agree. I said, you're reacting to comments. Uh, I don't even see. Yeah, it's it's a little bit of a space difference. I'm catching up a little bit. I'm like four minutes behind right now or something. He has the the sickest lighter. It's not it's not the sickest lighter, dude. It, it's functional. That's what it is. What's the occasion for the beer? Cheers. It's day one hundred and forty-four, Lindsay. And. Yeah, I just spent a lot of time streaming today. Then I I helped my mom like <laughs> make a batch of gingerbread dough or ginger biscuit dough. And while I was doing that, I was listening to Joe Rogan podcast. And then after that, I was like looking into some of the stuff like they were talking about. Well, basically finished about 11 11 with the stream the gaming stream that the super liminal stream it was such a confusing stream because it started off confusing i wanted to play one game then they actually officially released like the full game so there was like a 10 gig update while i was trying to download the witcher and then we just ended up playing super liminal and it was a weird like series of events because i kind of wanted to play super liminal but I felt like it wasn't going to be the right stream for what I wanted to do in that moment. And then I kind of like ignored the idea and I was like, nah, let's play some Hades. Simple. It's a fun game. You feel like you're a badass. That's basically the, the gist of the game. There's no like hard thinking going into it. But Super Liminal is like a, a problem solving or a puzzle, puzzle type game. And it like takes your mind for a spin. Like it, <laughs> you're... Like, if you want to have your mind, like, completely grinded to the gears, you play that game. It's like this perspective game where by moving in a certain way, there'll be an image projected on, like, the surfaces of objects. And then when you, like, position yourself in a way where you can actually see that object as a whole, you can actually grab that object out of the thin air and hold it. And then if you bring it closer to your face, it, like, fills more of your field of vision. 
and then if you drop it it's actually bigger like now it's this big as a ball and now i do it again and now it's like as big as this tree and then you like literally take blocks from the ground that are like this big and then you build up uh, like a structure so you can climb up to higher doorways and then if you go through these doorways they take you to other like realities or other rooms in this dimension that you're like walking in it's a trip of a game it's amazing i loved it like it's definitely worth playing it took me i think two hours plus the setting up of the stream to play the entire game like we started the game and finished the game in one sitting and it was amazing uh Dome, red water. <laughs> this dude is just chilling. Just chilling, my friend. Just chilling right now. Chilling as a commitment, dude. Uh, there's, we have a friend in the Discord, and he's been in the chats as well. I haven't seen him in a while. He uh, has a name that's like Chill with Purpose. And yeah, if you're going to chill, do it with a purpose, right? Be be direct with what you're doing. What's up, bro? I'm going to get some chill too. Get some chill, Turtle. Get some chill. What do you do for a living? Unemployed, friend. We've said this. Oh, damn. Hey, Lindsay. Um, did I see you live earlier? Probably. No, lowly. Probably. I've been live for five hours now. Total today. So, yeah. It's been like, <laughs> get in it. Uh, and unemployment isn't bad. Better than getting shot. For being a hedge fund. <laughs> yeah. I feel that way as well my friend. What do you do for a living is such an odd question. I live for a living. Yeah I work to keep living. Exactly my friend. <laughs> like, I feel that way about that question as well. But like. What do you say to people? People don't understand that unfortunately. Like we're so much more. Than a job. And people basically ask that as this like pre-question to almost judge how much they should value you and it's like it's a good question to ask if you want to determine how much someone earns or how much uh, someone is going to you know have properly in real estate or in uh, like a car or something like that right like oh this person does this for a living must earn about this amount of money so if they earn more or less than me that must mean i should respect them more or less and that's how people think sometimes. I, I know not everybody thinks that way, but I've like <laughs> I've I've met a lot of people, like an exuberant amount of people that do think that way. And it's a very oh, it's a it's a scary look at reality because I mean, at the end of the day, right? After this whole life that you've lived, let's let's take a like a very extreme example. Uh, Steve Jobs, billionaire, right? died of cancer when he was in his 50s i think please correct me if i'm wrong no amount of money is going to have you know created for him a life experience that is going to be any more full or rich than the life experience that me and you are having in this moment and right now and that is something we have to realize that is something that is infinitely valuable actually infinitely valuable and we have that at all times and we squander it unaware of what we are just holding in our hands <sighs> melt as a human being for a living there we go yeah um i just realized that i got a 10 minute delay i just greeted me rip i want a stream to be live <laughs> dude journal it, it does happen sometimes dude unemployment isn't that bad yeah i feel that my friend so baked it yeah dude like heavy baked this this joint is definitely doing its job oh activate activate oh we have one friend i knew there was going to be one friend that actually understands my afrikaans a little bit what is the commitment that some people don't seem to understand? What is it that commitment that some people don't seem to understand? <clears throat> I think people don't understand that it's okay to sometimes, you know, falter as well or to, to stumble in your commitments. 
It's not okay, however, to completely abandon them. <sighs> when you feel you've stumbled. I'm talking to myself here as well right now. I'm like, hey, 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 dude. Hey, hey. <laughs> what made you start Melt More? How did you start smoking? Or what made you start? <sighs> well, Melt More was a, was a name I came to as an intention like for a day we basically made a decision to find me a name a creative name and me and a friend spent a day and we came up with the name Meltmore because there is just such a ethereal nature to allowing yourself to become more present in the experience Instead of retracting yourself away from that experience, you know, instead of being in the fetal position, you are in the ecstatic, hands up, like arms out, like receiving position, right? You understand there is an energetic difference between those two positions, quite literally in a physical sense. You are aligning yourself with a certain sense of nature, a certain, like maybe you can call it a power pose. I, I guess you can, but like, take take from that what you will. It is, it's not 100% proven. There is some scientific creature that has went into it. It's a, it's a cool thing. Look it up if you want to learn more. Uh, -dum. Oh, sorry. And then, okay. After having had the name, I, I, I had an opportunity to move to China to teach English, which I did. And then during this whole time, I had melt more as this like idea and this this thing that I can I can basically like create from as a what do you I don't even know how to verbalize this <sighs> something I can I can use as not not just me if that makes any sense, right? Melt more is something you can use as just something you can tell someone as well. And I've had friends tell that to me as well, right? Like when you get a little bit tense in a situation, you can just tell someone, yes, just melt more, dude. Just relax. Just calm down. Just breathe for a second. Look around you. <sighs> Melt more, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, uh, for me, it's not a feeling by this point. It's a feeling. Maybe that's what it's supposed to be. So, I want to share this feeling with you, friends. That's what Melt More is. Uh, why do people put so much worth in what you do for a living? Yeah, I've explained what I think about it, at least. Drawing something for you while I listen. Good morning. Gateway process. Thank you, my friend. Are you in the Discord? I would love to see what you're drawing. You're not living for others. Everything you do is for yourself at the end of the day. Self-love is the most important love. Do what makes you happy and not others. I, I do agree with what you're saying. No, no lowly. This, what I'm doing right now, has made me the happiest I've ever been doing something. <laughs> black Label is by a lacquer. We have one friend that actually knows what Black Label is. How sick. 144 day. Uh, days seem like a good number. It is a good number, my friend. It's a very, very good number. It's one that resonates. Has like a little ding to it, if you will. What is the drinking age? I saw you had like a two-hour stream this morning. Yeah, had two two hour streams this morning <laughs> uh the drinking age is 18 in south africa we get to draw <laughs> that's the legal drinking age but like teenagers buy alcohol from the age of 14 i used to be one of those teenagers back in the day so yeah that's that's how what the, the the drinking age really is in south africa yeah, exactly, exactly. Our pan live is sketchy. Sometimes it helps to reload once or twice or smash the live button. Yeah, yeah. Our pan is a little bit like 
in the works, in the works what I want to say. It's getting better. I believe every single day it's going to get better. Yesterday we were dancing in morning. Yeah, for you yesterday, for me, my morning. Can anyone read me? We can read you, Albatross. Yes, yes, there we go. No problem, we can read. Thanks, sorry. I'm new here and I don't understand how it works. I was typing. It wasn't showing anything at all. Don't worry, my friend. We're here with you. We can see you. Reload up. Uh, you should make frequently asked questions thread and pin it on your profile. If I hear what's your job, one more time I'll lose. <laughs> I just see no lowly reing. Uh, Lamar, people still would ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> uh, man, uh, it's okay. Like, still. If these people don't know, it means they're new. So I would love to give them a, a loving welcome, if anything. Mm, yes, he would then direct them there without having to answer. Ah, I would feel that would be a very impersonal way to answer their question, my friend. I wouldn't like doing that. In my travels, I have found the happiest people are those of the humblest lifestyles. It's about that, you know the the medium having enough to be comfortable <clears throat> but not taking it to an excess where you have so much money that you're in a paranoia of losing this money you have so much money in the stocks you have so much money in crypto you have so much money in this just and this that 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 and then like it takes a swing and you lose millions like in a day and you lose your mind but why <laughs> you don't need your millions and millions, you can get by with enough. And then you can help others that aren't getting by with enough. Ah, it's... We're getting there, though. I do believe we're getting there. Ah, just woke from a power nap after smoking all morning. Well, welcome. It's nice to have you here, my friend. Give us a glamorous job and tell people it. <laughs> a glamorous job. You just accentuate, you know, a bunch of fancy words to dudes sitting in the middle of nowhere talking. You just like add a bunch of, you like just, you take those bunch of words and you just like hit the thesaurus on each one of the words and you just like add a different word. <laughs> and that's what you tell people. Uh, wasn't feeling it today, but now it's better. I'm happy you're here, my friend. Um, hey man, we all have these days. Sometimes you just need a day to forget everything else. Or numb the feeling out and just let time do its thing to process those thoughts. My friend, today is about commitment, dude. Commitment and also being aware that I should allow myself time to relax. And I feel I'm not sure of the balance yet. <laughs> but I'm trying to become aware of it. Don't beat yourself up over the overload yourself of commitment. Don't worry, my friend. One, four, three. I love you too, Jovan. Hey, Jesse. Thank you. I'm keeping calm. Uh, hi, love. There we go. We have everyone greeting Jesse. Gradually and consistently persuade your goals. Pers persuade or pursue your goals. It's always better than rushing and exhausting yourself and losing your motivation. Exactly, my friend. Taking small steps every day. Small steps every day. That's the way. Um, <clears throat> show us your drawing in the Discord. Yes, in the share your work or the creative space. Please, please, please show us. When you rush and push towards things, you can achieve your goals. Mm-hmm. But when you reach it, you will think, oh, I need a break now. And that right there, you may start pushing further. Not exactly how I feel about it. No, no, Lee. But I do believe there's some truth in what you're saying. What I think about it is we have this incessant need. Is this thing almost empty? We have this incessant need to constantly, you know, set ourselves these, these goalposts. And then <clears throat> we
we reach it. And then we're like, okay, now what's the what's the next goal post I'm going to be setting for myself? And then we do that over and over and over and over again. And I don't see the point in it. <laughs> I've tried it for a bit. I was like, oh, wait, let's, let's try this setting of the goal post over and over again. Didn't bring me any happiness, unfortunately. Melt more. Can you do a stream on top of that tree one day? I want to, dude. There's actually a spot. Like, mm, I literally can't move you right now. But ah, I feel like I feel a little bit bad for doing this. But I'm gonna have to exclude our YouTube friends again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, that spot is almost like level. So I want to like set up a bunch of planks up there. The thing is that like the real obstacle I'm facing genuinely is just the way to mount my camera up there somewhere so that I can actually just have it stable. <coughs> because right now it's on that, right? And it's literally, I have a brick just to keep it like kind of level and I'm like having it supported by a pole. It's, it's kind of, it's kind of like what it's, what it's about, but it is perfectly level. And that is, as you know, points for my brain. It's like, mm, stonks. <laughs> uh, if you make the journey easier on you, it will take some more time, but you'll want more and more and keep going. Yeah, you're right now, Lovie. There's a lion in the tree behind you. Oh, no. <clears throat> oh, I'm scared. Better run away. Man, I think we might actually finish this. <sighs> Commitment and relaxation. <sighs> there has to be a balance. What do you friends think? Like, actually give me your opinion. What do you feel should be the balance between commitment and relaxation? What do you think of this relaxation? What commitments have you made for yourself lately that you feel good about? I'm really curious. <clears throat> There's a lion. Oh, I've already read that one. Uh, no, lions are afraid of them. I am one of them. I am one of them. <laughs> You see, where do you think this man comes from, dude? <laughs> Might be jinxing myself. What if I lose my hair? Do I become a an egg then? No, I hope not. <laughs> Lions live in harmony with Meltmore. Yes, I hope that we could live in harmony. I hope that I'm, you know, concealed as well from them. Then I can live in harmony with them happily, but... That would be the ultimate test. Can I be that chill that I could just sit if a lion just passes me? I could be that chill that he's like, oh wait, this, this like being is too chill for me to eat him. Could that be possible? Yo, like maybe if that lion isn't hungry, maybe then I would risk something like that. Like the, the lion is like a well-fed lion. Like he just got, like he just ate like, five buffaloes or something just like now and he's like walking past me like basically dragging himself across the floor <laughs> then i could like Im I imagine myself being super chill yeah sure <laughs> uh nah lions are afraid of no no not afraid please they are friends yes absolutely i knew you smoked weed before you pulled out that joint yeah dude i'm like I, I've, I think this might be the biggest joint i've ever smoked on my own in a single sitting and technically it's not like a, a single sitting, but we're we're doing it like an hour and a half plus a give, you know, like a shh, around there. <sighs> we're going strong. I can't imagine streaming daily. Do what you need to do for you, Meld. I know my friend. But, like, being able to do this for, like, 
I feel for a, a like this is gonna be a cliche and I've, I've like I'm almost stopping myself from saying it before saying it but doing this for us dude really doing this for us just being able to come together in a space at least once a day where we can have a feeling have a, a sort of sentiment have a commitment have a an intention that we're we're putting forward towards the world towards our own consciousnesses that's what it's about for me and i'm okay with doing that my friend it makes me happy it makes me very happy ah <sighs> uh, yeah sometimes we get lost in pursuing different goals that aren't what we really need yeah my friend at the end of the day we don't need anything other than to eat to drink water and to have to, a place to live that's what we need to do everything else is fluff dude everything else is fluff we can we can gain a lot of you know fulfillment in doing other things in having a career in like playing an instrument in we can have so much fulfillment in actively creating something, right? And that's what it's supposed to be about. We should be able to do that without having to worry about a place to live, food to eat, water to drink. That's what I believe. That's what I, I think we, we owe the world. <sighs> yeah, I mean, like we could do that much, right? I, like, I think that's not too much to do. <sighs> uh, sometimes we get lost in pursuing different goals. Yeah, I thought we read your comments. Sorry, friend. It's the problem of people who think they have to follow other people's steps. Yeah, you can't. Like, your life is meant for you, friend. Your life is meant for you. Your life is just as significant, just as important. <sighs> just as great as any other life before now or in the future that's what makes you so special you are you know you are literally some hemp rope and you could lash it uh, to the tree yeah i would be able to like i've i've thought about it a lot like I i'm thinking i'm gonna have to like get some sort of like flat platform thing printed from my like little brother or maybe i could like use a wooden plank it's, yeah, I'm going to have to do some, like, ghetto engineering, but I uh, sure, I can do it. <laughs> it can be done. Oh, it's Jojo. Thank you for joining us, friend. I, I'm super blazed right now. Like, you have to bear with me. <laughs> uh, I know the feeling uh, of <laughs> triptoids. Uh, you should get a tripod like mine uh where you can wrap it and the legs around a tree mm, that's a that's a good idea actually jojo it was just 10 euro <sighs> you are right um, i'm gonna get myself one of those actually because i i have like a pretty decent i have a kind of like hectic setup as well that's the other thing i have like a, an extra phone attached to my my main streaming phone or yeah yeah so like it's a it's a heavy load and it doesn't have a traditional mounting system i guess i could print one yeah i could do that as well i live in south africa my friend hey jojo south africa e uh, i try to get as much as possible done during the day before turning to smoke yeah like this is end of day for me like the sun is literally gone right now also try to get as much done as possible you know before smoking we're smoking this whole thing as a commitment hot damn friends i i didn't believe it could be done but the closer I'm getting to it, I'm like, maybe. I'd like to elaborate. But I'm on my way to pharmacy. And uh, my the drains my battery. I, I know what you mean, Jojo. Thank you for joining us, my friend. See ya. 
I've never felt totally grounded. I've always tried to find the best way to go about things. And you may not always choose the right way, but it's a way that feels right to you. I do feel that, my friend. At the end of the day, we are the ones that's going to be, you know, standing at the end of our lives. There's this song <laughs> by Agra, it's called Old Man. And it's literally a Cytron's track that has like a one-liner in it. And that track has meant so much to me. <clears throat> because it says, um, I'm like, this is this guy like singing about an old man who's looking at his life, looking at all of his regrets, all of the things he didn't do, all of the trips he didn't take, all of the foods he didn't try, uh, the girl he didn't kiss, all of these things in his life that he now regrets. And... Like, I can't. <laughs> we can't regret anything at the end of the day. I don't want to stand at the end of my life and be like, oh, damn it. <laughs> right? That would be the worst. Oh, man, it's getting cold. I'm gonna do what's called a pro gamer move <laughs> and cover myself. Mm, you and Viking Queen and what's been shared <clears throat> in the Discord has inspired me. I'm making so many commitments for June. Wish me luck and thank you for the motivation. Thank you. Thank you, Giovanni. That's amazing, my friend. I wish you all of the strength in the world. <sighs> uh, good luck. Yeah, good luck, my friend. All of the strength in the world. Uh, whenever you do, I'm sure it will be great. I'm sure as well. Toriel, you always look like you're on something by default. Stop. Uh, your ways aren't the same. <laughs> Don't, don't judge, don't judge Jojo. She is just on a different plane of existence. That's how I see it. Mm -mm -mm. That's fire <clears throat> Fireflies put on quite a show sometimes. They are very quiet as far as bugs go. Yeah, they just kind of like pink, pink. Like at least the fireflies I've seen, they just kind of make these little flashes in the grass. It's very cool. <sighs> man, uh, what's the thought that made you feel overwhelmed right now? I don't think you have clearly expressed it of us. Letting it out will help you process it better. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about right now. Unfortunately, <laughs> uh, Paletto, it's almost firefly season. I'm excited with you. Yeah, there we go. We don't have too many fireflies, unfortunately, here around the farm. But I have seen them when I like went out camping with friends once. <clears throat> uh, what's up, brother? Loving the scarf, my man. Thank you, my friend. It's it's also serving as a little bit of weather protection right now. Like this this thing almost has like a type of a a feeling to me right now, as in a a power, like a, a soul. A, a beingness to it. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's how I feel about it. <clears throat> oh, it seems like a nice evening over there. It's a pretty clear evening, actually. <laughs> One of the dogs is just barking profusely at something. I don't know what. What's up, brother? <laughs> I've already done one. It seems like a nice evening. Already done as well. As long as I can make it to the end of my life, being honest and compassionate, I will consider it to be a huge W. Yeah, exactly, dude. Definitely. 100% win. Whatever is supposed to happen in this life will happen. Whatever won't happen in life simply won't happen. Yeah, exactly. Everything is the way that it is because it needs to be the way that it is if it exists it's supposed to exist because it exists right <clears throat> that's the way i see it at least um no need to regret exactly my friend i'm glad i was able 
to catch today's stream. See you all on the Discord. For more Meltex, see you, Justin. Thank you, my friend. Love and light to you. You're doing it. It's almost done. Enjoy the success of a commitment of smoking the entire joint. The success of smoking this entire joint is me feeling like I'm vibrating, like I'm shaking right now, almost. <laughs> oh. oh, see you, Justin. We enjoyed having you here. Miss all of your guys' energy. We enjoyed having you here as well. Jesse, we missed your energy as well, my friend. How have you been? Like, are you are you getting a chance to actually rest right now? Are you having some off time to yourself? Uh, regret over the past will only prevent you from achieving things in the future. Focus on the present. <clears throat> exactly. I believe actively in this moment we're shaping our you know futures. What we're choosing to do right now, right here is at the end of the day going to influence how things turn out for us it's not a necessarily karmic based system i don't believe but i do believe it's a, a scale of divinity if you will what you can do with what you have where you are right trying trying as hard as we can at the end of the day <clears throat> if a man thinks his happiness is due to external causes and his possessions. It is reasonable to conclude his happiness must increase that uh, and increases his possessions and diminishes in proportion to those through the uh, the dimun diminution? I understand what you're trying to say, my friend. Yeah, like people assume that okay, so if if like having one car, like ha like buying myself my first car made me this happy then buying myself more and more cars is going to make me exponentially more happy. That's not how it works. It doesn't work that way for anything. Once you kind of get to the point where you have functionality and you have what you need right now in this moment to do what you need to do, other than trying to impress, other than trying to like live towards a, a case of having the the best right now in this moment because it's the coolest thing to have the best right now in this moment that's i don't think there's any value in that like if you're going to be upgrading and you've had your like previous car or previous device like for five years or whatever for example like and even that is a short period of time like you can even go longer with these things not so much of devices smartphones but maybe with cars you can go up to like 20 years with one car especially these these like electric cars that are coming out right now i hope to be able to man oh, i don't want to make that commitment oh damn i wanted to say i hope to be able to buy myself the first car that i ever buy myself as an electric car Ooh. Ooh, they're very inaccessible in South Africa at the moment because there's no power stations but not you know reliable power stations to get to places oh it would be cool though um the num the num uh, what are the obstacles that hinder realization habits of the mind you see like the way I think about it at least is that we kind of get used to thinking in certain ways and then when we get used to like thinking in that way and it becomes something that's almost automatic we take that as like a, a definite and then we like keep processing that same pattern over and over and over again into our like lives and the patterns that we inhibit basically shape what we become so inhibiting these patterns uh, like shaping these patterns intentionally, moving yourself towards, you know, some sort of scale of like where you're supposed to going, if you will. That's what I believe you should be almost like programming yourself in your patterns, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Oh man, I'm getting cold. Uh, what is the practice? Constant search for the source of the ego. No, not source of the ego, maybe source of truth, my friend. Random question Do you prefer smooth? Or crunchy peanut butter. It actually depends. 
It depends. If I'm going to be eating like peanut butter like a savage person, like if you're like like really hungry for peanut butter, you're not like peckish for peanut butter. You're hungry for peanut butter. If you're going to be like scooping peanut butter and like chewing it, then I'm like all down for like crunchy peanut butter. But if it's going to be like a, I'm going to be like taking like small little scoops of it and then putting it on my tongue and then like coating my tongue with it then i'm like all for smooth peanut butter so it's it's definitely like a it's the dependent thing you know as all things will be um there is nothing to realize exactly my friend we're just here where are you in south africa right now my friend crunchy is the way peanut butter ain't my thing though you don't like it no lily where is the savannah no savannah right now, my friend. PJB rules, peanut butter, banana, honey as food of the gods. Hmm, okay. I'll, I'll have to try that, my friend, to confirm. I've had PBJs too much in my life that I'm sick of it. <laughs> also, I'm not of a smooth... <laughs> I'm more of a smooth kind of girl. Okay, that's interesting, Nav Queen. Peanut butter and chocolates, though is a uh, actual treasure to the taste buds so you must be a Reese's Pieces fan then I can imagine those peanut butter cups and stuff uh, I used Beast Car um, it is for the long haul I hope I hope so as well my friend uh, have a great night I hope you get some clarity on the balance between commitment and relaxation I hope so as well my friend you are beautiful thank you I appreciate you uh, are you the power? Are you their power station? <laughs> You'll be screwed if you get stuck far from home. What are you talking about, dude? What do you mean? What do you mean, dude? Cognitive distortions suck. <laughs> they can, dude. I feel like I'm having some cognitive distortions right now. It's not bad. I'm being completely present for them. <sighs> because it was a commitment. I'm almost finished with it. Whew. Oh, man. You are in a great state to receive the clarity. Relax. And it will come. Thank you, Gator. I agree completely, my friend. Have a good evening, bro. Stay warm. Thank you so much, my friend. I'm never going to get myself a blanket right now. <laughs> We're smoking this to finish off this commitment. Woo! Now, uh, you are not to be serious. Ask yourself the question. How can you not be the witch? Is all. Exactly, my friend. How could I not be? All is because you are. And you are because the all is, my friend. And that is the perfect place to leave it off with. I love you 42 friends that are here with me right now. Thank you so, so much for joining me. I'll read Engineer's question. And then I'll leave you off. And I hope to see you again tomorrow, my friends. How do you meditate? I begin to ask myself, how am I? Eliminate the body and not the eye. The, bre the breath and not the eye, the mind as not the eye, and I am not able to proceed further. That's what I basically do as well, my friend. I kind of think of it as a coming to the realization that you are this center consciousness that is witnessing the thoughts passing it consciously. And you can kind of see this interpretation of what your consciousness or your mind produces and you can think of it as like oh you know I am this or I am that because of these thoughts that I'm having right now and that's not what it's about you know you are not your thoughts you are not your mind you are not the things that you're feeling right now you are not the clothes that you're wearing your job your body you are the thing the the I the the consciousness the awareness of the eye that is experiencing this right now. The eye that you are referring to when you say I am something. Make a sound that's your name. Melt more. Estian. However you want to say it. 
we assign these values. I love you, friends. Thank you for joining me for the stream. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow.